You coming too, Rapid? <laughs> Tomorrow, we fight. Hope everybody can get some sleep. Going already? It looks like things here won't be settled for a while. I had hopes that we'd have the guild ships at our disposal. I heard they've been having some issues. It seems they've been unable to decide on a course of action since the Don's passing. It looks like I'll be one step behind you again this time. No hard feelings, no matter which of us gets to Alexei first, right? Oh yeah, are you done trying to get Estelle back? I mean, she's still a princess. And what about all that stuff with the Imperial succession? The Council has chosen Yoder as their leader. For all intents and purposes, he's got their nomination for the throne. Hmm, okay. So that's why you don't need to chase her around anymore? That's not it. It's just that I've finally come to terms with the choices she's made for herself. Wow, you sure loosened up. Don't give me a hard time. It's something I've had to struggle with in my own way. Well, she'd be happy to hear it. I'll bring the problems of the air and the Blastia to His Highness's attention. He'll be able to come up with some way of helping, I'm sure. As for Lady Estelise, Yuri, you have my confidence. I appreciate it. Sorry for being such a pain. Well, I'm gonna get going. See you at Zaude. As far as anyone is concerned, the capital was retaken because of my efforts. It isn't just with this, though. No one even knows the things you've... No, that brave Vesperi has done. They don't even try to learn the truth. Are you really okay with that? Yuri? Yuri, you're such a sleepyhead. <sighs> Looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zauda. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed by both Intelikea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alexei's at Zaude. And I'm really not in a mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success, but she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes, so I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. 
She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? No. Estelle! Hey! Y you're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle. There are still things I can do for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you now, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time. Huh? Prince Yoder and Flynn, too? My, what an honor for His Highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed, so the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here. But you civilians have shouldered it. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the knights or for the Empire anyway. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. Huh? Your Highness? At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? But I... I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasane, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire, Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo. Join forces with the Guild, Brave Vesperia, and stop Alexei. Yes, sir. You heard His Highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. Even if I refused, You'd still come along, wouldn't you? So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Zauda. That's already been handled, right, Judy? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. Oh, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep, we'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
switches up her fighting style in the middle of battle? We thought we might be able to do the same thing, so we asked for a lesson. I don't think that's something that can be taught. You have to be born with a style that unique. No, Yuri. You start practicing with the others. You can never know until you at least try. I'm not so sure. Nonsense! Keep a positive mental attitude. Hmm, you could be right. Here goes. Cr critical form! Choosing critical like that? I thought you played it cooler than that. Carolyn Raven, you owe me your gels for a while. Yuri, you get a thank you kiss. You... you were betting on me?
Watch out. This one's tough.
Was that okay? Beautiful. I can do even better than this. Flynn, aren't you tired from all that fighting? It's far from enough to wear me out. Is it just me, or does combat seem to invigorate him? Like a couple other people I could name. Who? Who indeed? I didn't get as many chances to fight at the front after I rose to captain. This is an opportunity to keep myself in fighting form. Whatever excuse you come up with, you're still a fighting maniac. I... I've never been called a fighting maniac before. Ugh, here I was thinking Flynn was normal. She doesn't think we're normal. Shocking, right? What sort of person did you believe me to be, Rita? Huh? Why ask now? I mean... I never would have thought you'd think one of Yuri's friends was normal. Uh... Yeah, you really are Yuri's type. Um, I'm right here, both of you. 